that sounds like cake. Ah, oh, that's better. That's that's that one. Yeah, you might as well check the talks and all of them. Yep. That's all right. And so is that good? So the whole set let is now. Let me just check. Let me just double check here. Yeah, that was a bit loose as well. Cool. That's that, mate. So. What are you looking at, Emmanuel? I'm looking at the uh, E-Manuel. Emmanuel's looking at the E-Manuel? Yeah. Lovely. Put our used bearing in there, hopefully the right way around. Turn that around a few times. Nice and sticky. Yeah. Oops. So, let's put some of that on there. Okay. Okay, we should rest that there for now. What we need to do... Do you remember we were trying to find that... Uh, Sweet spot. It was the outer lug, wasn't it? Or the outer hole that was going to go into the. That's that, that, that was it. it. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure about the middle one, I must admit. What middle one? Well, it doesn't seem to be doing much spreading. It's just sitting there. Come on, get out of there. Anyway, that's good. That's looking lubed and in place. Okay, yes. Put some of that shit in there. Oh, lovely. Did you feel that go down there? I don't know if I did. That was really nice. Look at that. Are you spot this? Look at this, right? You're focusing in it. Look yeah. how lovely it goes down. On the video I saw it, did, oh. there was um, the guy was dis describing that if they don't slot in and spin to switch them around, but I think all of these tend to. So slot in and spin. Yeah, they need to move freely within. Graphogen's own black ship, yeah. whatever you call it. Right, but. just a bit of graphogen on this. I don't even know if this is freaking important. Might be the right thing, it might not. So that's that, okay. And then we need the calm shaft. The so calm shaft? Yes, and we're going to put some of this red, sorry, this red uh, engine assembly lubricant onto the bearings, like that. Okay. Now this bad boy. Nice and clean. Yes, it's lovely and clean, yeah. Well, it's clean enough. So that goes sort of... Thing is, we need to time this, don't we? I've, I've not taken that into consideration. Because um, the valves are going to be opening at any freaking time they like. So how do you freaking time one of these? Good question. Is there any marks? Oh, there is a mark on it. Do you see that mark? Okay, and where does that go up? Well, along well hopefully there's going to be a mark on this pulley. Okay. And they line up, I guess. See if we can rotate this crankshaft. Come on, you little bad boy. Oh, it's moving, isn't it? Something's moving. Not good. So, have you seen a mark anywhere? Oh, uh, not, uh, no, not yet. Can you see a mark anywhere? Oh, I can see something now. Yes, there's two marks though. 
I guess it goes I've seen two marks just now and I'm wondering if that tooth needs to go between those two does that make any sense? hmm? some so this bad boy goes somewhere there Oh, oh look at that man, I've nailed it. Has that just happened to fall into place? Well, it's probably unlikely that it's exactly right, but it's it's, it's around the right. Can you shine the torch there so I can see? Do you see the dot there? I see the dot, I can't see yeah, what's Well, there the should be there. two other dots on the other. Can you, can you shine it on the other pulley from around there? Do you see the two dots on the other pulley? Oh yeah, so is it one notch out? I think we're one notch out, so far. If I pull that off and try and rotate this a little bit, how do I need to rotate it? Um, Just to oh yeah, that's it. Hang on, so that oh um, um, back down a bit. Oh, um, hang on. oops. Is, is that by any chance? Think, have you locked it by doing that? No, I haven't. I haven't locked it. No. Is it about to go in the right place, but it won't fit? Hang on, let's no. have a look. How's that? Uh, I think that's in the right place. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, I don't know if we're, it might be 180 degrees out. Does that even, is that even possible? Uh, can you rotate it and we can have a look and see if it's, is it eventually going to go, this is going to rotate around the third of the rate of the other. So if you see the two dots come around three times and it's still in the right place. So the two dots are coming around now. Uh, but I can't see any sign of the, the single dot on the... Ah, that's... okay. So that will be some some either bottom dead centre. It will then rotate in a minute. Hang on. It will line up again in a moment. Maybe it's half of them. Okay, it's... Ah, yeah. No, yeah. it is. Yeah, it is lining up. So, okay, yeah, that's good, fine. Good, no, Oh, you hooked your... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, man. Rock and roll, man. That's that. We haven't got any nuts to bolt it back together again. There's some nuts somewhere, aren't there? Yeah. You think it'll last long? Well, you can learn how to bleep out words. That's simple. Yeah, I, I, I have done that sometimes. I, don't, I just it takes more editing work, so I'd rather just not swear to start with. I know. Do you know the tightening order of those? Six? No, no, no. Are we moving on to the cylinders? Look, the, um, look at that. Yeah, is that that's good? Yeah. Well, yeah, it shows that it's uh, it's it's correctly installed. The only thing I don't know is if we've got the camshaft and the crankshaft lined up together at the, correctly. <coughs> Shall we do this one now? If you want to do that one. Huh. Right, I think this is the oil ring. So we're going to put the oil ring on this bad boy. Um. So the oil ring is going on. Hopefully without scraping too much off the piston. Mm. Come on you little sucker. There you go. Crack the piston. Oh well. There we go. So that is on. Oil. Remember the your oil on those. As you oil them, yeah. Uh, if you put the gaps around 120. I've done it. You've done that already. I've just staggered them, man. You've staggered. Where the are you gaps. looking, man? Are you not focusing? Um, I'm always focusing, man. Right. So where's the arrow now? That's the arrow there. So I think this bad boy needs to go there. Wipe the gloves. And then we get our very expensive piston ring compressor. And we slacken it a bit. A bit more. A bit more. Then we basically cover the entire assembly, start tightening the rings, 
a bit. As we do that, we also might be <coughs> good to ensure. Uh, you see, I've cooked that up. I haven't caught all the rings. You want to catch all the rings. Okay, there we go. That's better. I'm tapping so I get a really flat uh, fit so no ring can escape. And then I just, uh, I just don't do anything with it. Ah, that's why. There we go. In she goes. That's it. Alright, and push it down to the bottom. And then tap it out. To expose the piston dodging pin or whatever it's called. There. Okay, so that is ready. Cinder number two is ready for someone that knows what they're doing to mount them onto the connecting rods. Yeah? Super. So that's doing that. So, do I put a ring there? Yeah, I do. Probably worth getting the ring in place, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Has it seated? It has, yeah. Cool. So this bad boy is going to go in like that. Just need to swizzle just a touch. Mm -hmm. Is that nearly there? Uh, needs a bit of a tap, Steve. Looks like yeah, it looks yeah, like it's gone in. Yeah, it's in. So it push it that through. guard jump in a bit. Give me a bit of room. Right. Ah, you son of a gun. Gun. Spinning? Yeah. Good. That's okay. there. So we just we'll just put a little bit of oil now because this looks a bit a bit on the dry side. Good. Oh, has it got a gasket? Yeah, the gasket's on good. That's home, mate. I just wanted to quickly say thank you to uh, Steve Wood for sending me some f of his uh, duck eggs and chicken eggs fresh. Steve, some of them did get broken in the post, uh, but hopefully I've saved these. It's a beautiful gift. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to be enjoying some omelettes. And you've asked me to do a comparison between standard chicken eggs from the supermarket and your chicken eggs. So uh, I'll get around to doing that one of these days. And uh, yeah, that is beautiful. Thank you very much, Steve. Steve Ducks. Check out Steve's Ducks channel. I'll put a link down if you're into ducks and chickens and parrots. Now this came as a surprise today. Jamie Russell from up north. Jamie's got a classic Ford uh, with a Pinto engine. And uh, Jamie said he's got a little surprise for me. And I received this from Amazon today. A gift, it says. I wasn't expecting this and Jamie has bought us a beautiful looking 
Thor hammer. Right? That is awesome. And this will go nicely with what is quickly becoming. Oh shit, I've got two of the same. I thought I bought a bigger one. Have we got a bigger one as well? Let's kind of have a look now. Watch it, we've got, we got three. That's pretty good, isn't it? So you can smash the out of something at the same time as I'm smashing the out of something else. I'm so happy. <laughs> Jamie, bless you, my friend. The, the, fir the first one of these I had is probably 30 or 40 years old, so thank you very much, and uh, I really appreciate it, mate. A lovely little gift, and uh, yeah, as I said, unexpectedly. So thank you to Jamie Russell for the Thor Hammer gift, mate. Bless you. Uh, also, uh, we bought that VW engine. It's got a, what they call the, is it called a flywheel gland nut? Which is a massive nut. And it needs about 24 billion foot pounds of torque. So, for that reason, we have to buy uh, this massive torque wrench. Uh, it's a tool zone one, a half inch Dr. Professional, high range. Oh no, half inch drive, not Dr. Professional. Anyway, so the, the range is 50 to 250 foot pounds. So we're just all right for our uh, gland nut, which goes up to about uh, 250 foot pounds. So we, we're going to be all right with this one. What do you think, Steve? It looks like it'll do the job. Uh, do you know what though, man? It's like a breaker bar, isn't it? Yeah. This, so we're going to be all right. The measurement error is going to be... I think, I think it means it's yeah. okay, doesn't it? Let's go and build that freaking engine, man. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, we're going to... We think that these paper gaskets that we basically poo-pooed and said they're crap, I think these do need to go because there's, there's metal rings under these and I think maybe these go as well as the metal ring, okay? So hopefully we're not going to find it too difficult to uh, to remove those. We have put the crankshaft and camshaft, unfortunately we haven't put them in correctly. So this thing here is not aligning as the factory intended, but it might be that we're going to be able to run it anyway, yeah? I think it'll be completely arbitrary as long as it's firing at the right points in time. Arbitrary? On the cycle. As in arbitrary? Arbitrary meaning that... Uh, uh, if this is in the right way, it will fire exactly the right times, four times. Mm. Just when have to move it about it. quite a lot then to get the... It, it, the well, right it just place. means that it gets clamped down in, in the right position. Okay, She's okay. not clear where it's going to be, but I think it's... Uh, yeah, because top dead centre's there. Right, that's top dead centre, I believe, for cinder number one, which is back here. Yeah. And this bad boy, well, it's saying that now it's going to fire here. So top dead. Oh yeah, and there's the little. Can you can you catch that little line on the distributor body there? You see that little line there? I think that's caught cool. okay. Yeah, I think that's suggesting that that will fire number one cylinder. I don't know. I hope it is. So this is on the notch there, pulley, in line with the split of the crankcase. This one is at the top of its travel, which we've marked here, cylinder number one, cylinder number two. Cylinder number three, cylinder number four. So we're at top dead center for number one cylinder. And number three, uh, I think, wouldn't it? Well, that will be on its exhaust stroke, hopefully. Oh, will it? Yeah, that will be pushing gas out. This will be exploding now. And massive pressure here, release of pressure there, something like that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, oh, okay. and then that's pointing in this direction. So, well, we'll see. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Tell us who you are, man, so people know who you are. I've told them about you. Uh, I'm an intrepid explorer, and I've just um, come around kind of like South Pole, North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, and then I thought, isn't it time to fix a beetle? Really, if you're going to do anything after that, you're going to fix a beetle. So, Steve, have you ever worked on a beetle before? In uh, fact, uh, have you ever worked on a car engine before? I've worked on a beetle before, but it Have was you? it was it was um, six legged and um, a okay, an animal then. Yeah, <laughs> but these things happen, you know. 
So why have you why have you come here to work on this engine with me? Well, you watch Musty One and you think this guy's kind of funny. I'm not sure if he's the kind of like most intelligent person the world's ever seen, but he makes it look so easy that mm -hmm. after you start doing it, you think don't underestimate the guy. Maybe he's a lot smarter than anybody else, you know? Mhm. Mm Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. And you live in Aston, yeah? somewhere around there which is about what two or three miles from here and you cycle here you've been here what four or five times mm. and we've been working on this engine together neither of us have a clue can we admit to that ah look i'm sorry yeah we, okay we don't have a clue are we a bit is it a bit of a sketchy build it is but if you can zoom in here yeah on this um we're getting this torque specs and stuff and you want to do this with absolute confidence yeah cylinder head nuts 23 pounds foot pounds yeah mm -hmm. it's this can you see this oil strainer conver nuts mm -hmm. generally generally if they can't spell you're not going to trust them on the talks back are you but they, i don't know maybe you will oh the cover nuts they call it conver nuts yeah right. it's your um this is a cheap kind of like vietnamese manual isn't it the um yeah love love me long time haynes manual <laughs> Sucky, 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 sucky oil. Sucky, sucky, ten dollar. <laughs> no, sucky, sucky oil, oil pump. Okay. Or I don't. Maybe that's what the oil pump does. Can we forgive them that they put uh, an N in where it doesn't belong? That is actually outrageously sexist, and I think it's probably racist. And um, let's hope, let's hope that the cylinder head nuts at twenty-three foot pounds. Mm -hmm. I thought you said uh, twenty-four foot pounds. No, twenty-three. These are. Yeah, all of them. Mm, pretty much. Uh, and do we talk them up in sequence or all together in one go? Is there a sequence? Uh, uh, the J Bugs guy gives you more information than this book does right. on that kind of Anyway, stuff. right guys, we've put the similar head on. Um, and we'll see how we go. I think are these are these screws for the heat shroud because on that cylinder head, one of them's broken. Oh uh, yeah, here you are. What? This, if you were interested, there yeah. is a sequence to these cylinder head nuts. Why has it got two cylinder one, heads two, here? Which one three, are we? Four. Yeah and there's two the site the tightening sequences mm -hmm. is to do a up to seven foot pounds seven foot pounds which is nothing mm -hmm. is it mm -hmm. but there is a sequence for all eight of them mm -hmm. and then there's the sequence that you need to follow b after you've done that mm -hmm. to 23 foot pounds got ya for so seven we'll jump straight to the meat which is 23 foot pounds i reckon we just do it uh, I don't know. Okay. Why not? Why not just listen to the manual, even if it's got. Okay. No, it's okay. starting to tighten. Ah, done. That's nice. Didn't take too much effort. This isn't far off. Good. Très bien, monsieur. À tout à l'heure. Okay. I named this uh, ship Bertie's, uh, Bertie's Booster. Still got the original sticker on it. Is it? Probably tells you about, um, oh, that's the feeler gauges, isn't it? That's, that's telling you about the um, depth of the, the, the thickness of the I think that's um, when your um, valve adjustments, the, the one that you were talking about with the feeler gauges. Good. Okay. So we're going to try and. Uh, see if the distributor makes any sense with what we're going so we're at the top dead center mark but we're at the exhaust no we're not we're at the inlet that's the intake so it's an intake 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 uh, yeah okay this is the bang area okay so this is a uh, top dead center for number one cylinder spark time so this needs to somehow make some sense comprende <laughs> <laughs>